Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to download an auto clicker for Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10, 11, 12, just basically any any Windows version. Um, so what you're going to do is just head over to your search bar, search up auto clicker. Now you'll see OP auto clicker right here. You're going to go ahead and give it a little click. Click download and it should redirect you to SourceForge. Now I know a lot of you guys will think this website's sketchy and honestly, I kind of think it is too. So if you don't feel safe downloading from SourceForge, you can head over to the description and I have actually created a Google Drive where it just has the exe file. Um, also, exe, a lot of people think exe means like malware. Exe means executable, so it's basically a program that you can run Windows. So we're gonna go ahead and click save. It should see autoclicker.exe. If you double click the file, it should open the auto clicker. So we're gonna head over to click speed test and we're gonna click this first link right here. And if we look in our auto clicker, we have a couple of options here. So obviously at the top we have the click interval, which is how frequent our auto clicker will click. So if we head over right here and we do zero milliseconds, it's obviously, it's obviously the fastest it'll go. And the better processor you have, the faster it goes, I believe. I'm not too sure how this works. I mean, I didn't program this, so. But if we go ahead and press a uh, hotkey setting right here, you can see that the default setting or the default hotkey is F6. So if you click start, uh, you can press any hotkey that we want to use to start or stop the auto clicker. Um, so yeah, if you go ahead and press F6, it will start clicking as fast as possible. If we head back here, we can actually change the mouse button to right. And if you press F6, you can't really tell it's doing anything, but it's spamming right click a bunch. So yeah. And then we also have middle, which just spams middle mouse button. Now, what we also can do with this auto clicker, which is pretty cool, is we can head over to repeat and we can only have it click uh, X amount of times within this interval. So if we had one second and we had to repeat a hundred times, it would click, whoa, what? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Left. I don't know why it's not clicking every second, but yeah, so you can, you can just have it click a hundred times. Oh, re restart. Okay. F6. You can see it'll go all the way up to 100. It clicks 100 times for us. Okay, I am <laughs> I'm clicking with just stuff with this auto clicker right now. Um, okay, so if you head over to pick location, uh, we can actually click or everyone with the auto clicker to just spam. So if you click start, it'll move your mouse there and it'll start spamming. Um, so yeah, that's basically everything. Also, record playback. Click record, it will record your mouse movement and wherever you click. So if you click play, it will follow the exact mouse movements that we just did, so you can have automated tasks. That's basically all this auto clicker can do. And oh, one last thing: after you close the auto after you close the auto clicker and you want to reopen it, you're going to want to make sure after you download it, you right click and pin it to your taskbar, or you can just search auto clicker. Well, actually, probably not. If you head over to File Explorer. Uh, and you go over to your downloads folder, which should be somewhere near the top. You should see auto clicker. If you right click and do pen to start, this will make it so you can press Windows key and just type auto clicker and you'll see auto clicker right here. And then you should be able to open it. Um, or you can just have it pinned to your taskbar. So that's basically everything you have to know about this auto clicker. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ho hopefully this helped you guys.